Hey guys, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your October midweekly collective reading. Now keep in mind it's a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that is watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys have been well. I'm going to tell you that a lot of you all will most definitely be doing well. You will be doing well. You will excel. Yeah, I mean, all types of stuff. Wait until tell, excel, inhale, all that. I mean, just good stuff coming in. And I'm very happy for all of us because I feel like this is part of my energy as well. I'm picking up for, you know, this reading today. And I'm, I'm very excited about this. Um, when I was meditating over the energy for a reading, the song that I got was I Say a Little Prayer for You. Now, I heard the version. The original song came out and it was performed by Dionne Warwick. Um, but the version I heard was Aretha Franklin. Aretha Franklin was an Aries. Miss Dion Warwick happens to be a Sagittarius. Now let me let me talk about this really quickly. Um, ten ten. Okay, so I want to let you guys know. I like to give you guys heads up as much as I can. I will be doing a ten ten portal discount reading sale. So make sure you guys check out my TikTok, my Instagram, the community section here. The sale will begin at eight a.m. and it will wrap up at midnight. Okay, but here's the thing. I'm seeing it starting at on ten ten. Okay, I've been talking since Lionsgate, 8-8, Lionsgate, I've been talking about the 10, 10 portal. Nobody really talks about it like that. And I tell you guys, every single time, there's there's portals for every single, like, matching, because it, it, it amplifies that energy. So, 1-1, 2-2, 3-3, 4-4, 5-5, you guys get it. All the way to 1212, 12, all the way to the end of the year. Those are portals, Okay. Here's the thing, and it, and it got my attention. I knew it was meant for me to talk to you guys about this. This 10, 10 portal. Okay, y'all, y'all ancestors about to do a big one for a lot of us from 10 10 to 12 12. I'm gonna tell you why I'm getting that. Okay, remember, I was telling you the version that I heard was the Aretha Franklin. You know what? To be honest with you, I know I, I should know better because I'm 40. I should have heard the original version. I've heard Dion Warwick, but I thought she remade it. I didn't know that she was the this song was originally wrote for her, so she was the first one to perform it. But the Aretha Franklin version was the one that always stood out to me. And that's the only one that I really remembered. So something just told me to look up Dionne Warwick's birthday. And her birthday is none other than 12-12. So I'm going to say again, from 10-10 to 12-12, during these times and these portals, there's going to be significant things changing and shifting and coming into your life. And it's going to be positive. Everything can't be perfect. I'm not, y'all, if you're new to the channel, people in the comments, look, those of you who've been in my comments, who, who've been following me for a while, Please leave a comment and let people know I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. I don't do that. I, that's that's falsehood and I wouldn't do that and I wouldn't abuse my energy and my gifts by telling people falsehoods. I'm telling you right now, what I pick up is going to be extremely positive things. And I'm telling you, y'all ancestors are, are about to show up and show out in a very positive way. Now, the part of the song, I'm just going to really quickly, the hook of the song, forever and ever, you'll stay in my heart and I will love you forever and ever. We never will part, oh, how I love you, together, forever. That's how it must be to live without you would only mean heartbreak for me. I'm going to tell you immediately what I'm getting this. That whole part to say forever and ever, you'll stay in my heart and I will love you together forever. We never will part, oh, how I love you. Your ancestors, I tell you, we have never left your side. I don't give a damn what hardship you went through. We have never left your side. We will never ever leave your side. We are here with you forever until you are no longer physical. Until you are no longer physically in this realm and you join us on the other side. We will always be by your side. Now, I have to say this because I, I talk about this all the time. Like, even I talk to my children about this. And I've even thought about this, like, you know, before I came into awareness, spiritual awareness, spiritual atonement, you know, things like that. I had to, I always would ask, like, if God is real. Because I question things. And people say, never question God. I don't question God. I, I question the surroundings around it, like, help me understand. You know, God never banishes you for questioning things, right? And then that's that's always been a weird thing to me when people say never question God. If you don't question things, then you don't understand it. If you're not going towards it in malice, then that's not horrible. You're asking, you're asking so that you can understand. And I used to ask questions all the time, like, if God is real and if the angels are real and the ancestors are real, why do y'all allow this stuff to happen? Why do y'all allow stuff like this to play out? Why do you allow good people to suffer and go through hardships? And nobody wants to hear this, but be it me, you, anybody, but we've signed contracts agreeing to certain 
occurrences in our life, and we did. And I know it sounds jacked up, but we did. And I say all that to say, like, if you say, like, well, if my ancestors were real and, and my spirit guides are real and they care about me, why would they let me suffer this long? Why would they let me go through this? They didn't let you go through anything. You signed up for that. We signed up. I'm saying me too. I done been through some shit <laughs> and still going through some shit. And, but I don't never look at it like, why is this happening? Why, 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 why? My, my question is always, okay, what do I do to move forward on this journey? I, I don't do victim mentality. I don't do victimhood. I don't like that shit. You know, it, it ain't going to get you nowhere in life. So then what's next? I'm a Gemini, so I'm always like, okay, what's next? I, I don't do all that. And and that's kind of, the, not kind of, but that's very much the mentality that a lot of us have to go through right now because you may be very doubtful that this good stuff is coming in because like right now you're going through stuff so heavy that it's like, I don't believe this. Everyone keeps saying good stuff is coming in. Everyone keeps saying this is going to happen and nothing ever happens. I'm telling y'all, 10, 10. 11, 11, 12, 12. And for some of y'all, you're just going to see consistent. I'm seeing like for some people, it's 10, 10 around that portal. Okay. Around that portal time. Okay. And now, and this usually with the full moon, new moon, I get three days before, during three days after. Mm -mm. With this 10, 10 portal, 10 days before, 10 days after. That's a whole whopping bit of time right there. 10 days before, 10 days after. 11, 11, 11 days before, 11 days after. 12, 12, 12 days before, 12 days after. I'm hearing that very clearly. This is when you're going to start to see things come to your life. So some of y'all, you'll see it within those time frames, 10 days before, 10 days after the 10, 10 portal, 11 days before, 11 days after the 11, 11 portal, 12 days before, 12 days after the 12, 12 portal, you'll start to see things manifest into your life. And for a lot of other people, you're going to start seeing stuff from 10, 10 all the way to 12, 12 with no breaks. Like literally things are just manifesting into your life. New job, new car, new home, new relationship, health improving. Self-esteem improving. People don't understand how self-esteem is so powerful because when your self-esteem is in a higher vibrational frequency, it will change your whole outlook on life. And when your whole outlook on life is changed, that helps you, that catapults you to a forward moving position. So I'm just going to tell you that also because I'm, I'm getting that very strong. But I want you guys to also, when you wake up in one, I say this all the time, when you wake up in one, think, think whatever you resonate with. I always try not to push my personal spiritual beliefs and things like that. Whatever you resonate with, thank it. Even if you're an atheist and you don't believe in any of that stuff, you think yourself, okay, thank you for getting up and doing this every single day. Thank yourself, man. Gratitude invokes magnitude that more, 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 and not in a greedy way, just more coming in for you because you're grateful. You've acknowledged what ha which already is, and so you're making room for more to come in. You get what I'm saying? So make sure you are getting up and saying thank you. And also, I've, I talked about this last time in one of the previous readings, and I said, your, your ancestors are pissed. They're livid. People are not giving thanks. You keep asking your ancestors and spirit guides and guardians for help, but you're not thanking them for allowing you to make it through the next day. That's that's a blessing in itself. There's no guarantee that any of us are going to wake up tomorrow or the day after tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Even though things didn't go the way that you wanted to go in a specific situation or time and place or day, you get to live the next day. If you were allowed to wake up the next day, to push forward towards that goal again, you need to be thanking your ancestors. You need to be thanking your gods. You need to be thanking your spirit guides again. Whatever resonates with you, you need to be thanking and giving gratitude. Because when we don't thank those energies that support us, they feel like, fuck it, you don't need us. And that's real. That's real. So just keep that in mind. Because with the, with those lyrics, with that, say, I say a little prayer for you. I feel like you have beings, divine beings that pray over you, that protect you, that shield you. Over your journey, when you ever, whenever you see pictures of angels, you'll see sometimes their wings out and they're surrounding someone. And sometimes you'll see their hands like that and they're praying over the human when they're sleeping. The angels pray over us nonstop. They protect us and they still continue to pray over us. And I feel that's exactly the message that I was getting there today, okay? So make sure you're saying your thank yous. Make sure you're expressing gratitude. And again, at 1010 to 1212, there's going to be very powerful, significant changes happening. I can assure you of that. And I want you guys also to let me know in the comment section, how have you been feeling? Are you already feeling this 10, 10 shift? Because for a lot of people, I feel, and I'm seeing this even with people that I'm very close with, there's a lot of depression going on. And it's because they, for a lot of people, and I'm not diagnosing anyone. Again, you guys know I always have to say disclaimer for YouTube purposes because they'll take the video down. Disclaimer, not diagnosing anyone. But I can see auras. I'm telling y'all, I can see auras. I can see energy around people. And the people close to me, I can see that their depression is because automatically on soul level they don't see it on a physical 3d level but on a soul level they are being stripped 
of that heavy shit that was on top of them that was that they were clinging to that was clinging to their energy and when you're so used to something just weighing down on you when it's being released sometimes it, it causes grief because that's all you know that's like when people have trauma that's all they cling to that's all they know so when things are going good for them they doubt it they feel like it has to be something else too like oh it has to be a catch because nothing has ever been good for me you get what i'm saying so people get so used to that energy that they don't know how to deal with the positive energy don't let that be your story because you got some good ass shit coming in. I've already claimed mine. I already claimed mine. And I want you guys, I'm telling you, I always say this with the full moon, the new moon. I'm going to tell y'all do this, this, that sleep, sleep on a ritual for 10, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12. Also, write three questions or three things that you want to manifest. Write it down, fold it up, tuck in your pillowcase and sleep on it. Don't pull it out until your questions are answered or until you get clarity about how to go about whatever it is that you want to go to. Or whatever it is you're trying to reach or accomplish. Again, I'm not telling you to call on any deities or anything like that. That's I always say that and I have to share this with people who are new to the channel. When you're sleeping, you're at your calm state. Where you're able to get the downloads without overthinking and worrying about this and worrying about that. You're at the calm state when you're resting. And that's when the messages are able to come through for you. So that's why when you put that piece of paper, your intentions or your questions in that pillowcase and you sleep on it, it's going to come to you. A lot of time it won't come to you immediately, but keep it in your pillowcase until you see the stuff, the answers manifesting, or you're starting to get clarity or ideas about how to manifest whatever it is you're trying to manifest according to whatever it was that you wrote out. Okay, so just, I'm telling you, those are big times. New moon, full moon, 10, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12. Make sure you're doing that. Okay. So let's talk about the spirit animal. The spirit animal that we have for you guys is the penguin. Now, the penguin talks about a situation not being simply black and white. You hear all the time people say it's either black or white. No, it ain't. Black, white, gray. There's a mixture with gray. Okay, gray is the black and the white. For me, I've always picked up as white things that you do see. Black is the things that you don't see because if you think about it as black, as darkness, you can't see beyond that. And then the gray is the things that you think you see, but you don't have enough information on it or it's just so far-fetched that you can't even believe that it's real. Because you don't have enough knowledge about it. You get what I'm saying? The gray, you know how they say the gray area? That's the unknown. And for a lot of us, we are traveling right now in the unknown. And that can cause scariness. That can cause depression. That can cause sorrow. That can cause grief. That can cause fear. Keep pushing through it. Keep pushing through it. Keep pushing through it. Keep pushing through it. You get what I'm saying? So again, with the penguin, situations around you are not simply black and white. Okay? It's just not, it's, it's not open and closed. It's, it's more to it. So you need to do more investigating, more digging. It also talks about selflessness generosity, toughness, unmatched depth and character, dreams. Then I say do the sleep on the ritual. I'm telling y'all, I scream that from the mountaintops. It never fails me. Dreams, family, and spirituality. I feel like the family part and the spirituality together because it, it came like that together in the description, family and spirituality. Some of you all will be going back to church or going to church or you'll start a new practice or start something with your spirituality is shifting. You're going to have some type of awakening for a lot of you all, especially with these portals. That's going to happen. Um, and also with this family and spirituality, I feel like your soul, your spirit family. Like the non-living, non not the physical living, living in spirit, but not living in the physical. They are heavy handed. I mean, very heavy handed in what's going on. I mean, they got a hand in everything that's going on behind the scenes in your life. And again, I'm going to say, please make sure you show gratitude. Because if you don't, they don't feel like you don't need them and they're not going to show up for you. I want mine to show up for me. That's why I talk to them every day. I reach out to them. I, I share and express gratitude every day. And you need to be doing the same. So let's talk about some names. And you know what tripped me out? Because my son has been obsessively talking to me about the Penguin. I guess it's a series on HBO. I don't watch stuff like that. I'm not into stuff like that. But he has been telling me every day, like, Mom, you need to watch it. It's so good. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to watch it, sweetheart. But <laughs> thank you for suggesting it. But when I got the Penguin, I literally seen the Penguin, the animal. But the Penguin made me think about the actual series, the Penguin. And so the names are associated with the series and the characters and stuff like that play, that play in the series. For some reason, I was just guided to do it. So that's how I'm going to go about it. So this could be first name, middle name, last name, street name, business name, um, some type of establishment. And I also have a number, an angel number for you guys to look up as well, okay? So we have Colin, Clancy, Christine. So someone's first, middle, and last name can start with a C. Doesn't have to be. Just put it out there. Colin, Clancy, Kristen, or Christine, Felis. Or um, Felix, Feliz, Felix, 
Mark, Carmen, Strong, um, Aura, Oswald, Michael, Gray, Kelly, Theo, Cohen, Sophia, Ireland, New Jersey, and then we have angel number 528. Again, angel number 528. Look up angel number 528 and read the messages. Leave in the comment section how that resonates with you or if it resonates with you. You guys know I always check the comments and I always respond, okay? And thank you guys, as always, so much for supporting the channel. I'm very grateful. And for all of those of you who are new, I hope that you like it here and I hope that you stay, okay? So we're going to go through the deck until we get the sun and the moon. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers, okay? And again, don't forget, 1010, I will be doing that discount reading sale for the 1010 portal from 8 a.m. until midnight, okay? All the information will be in the description box below. It's just the Etsy link. Click it, and it'll take you there, okay? Bottom of the deck, five of wands, conflicts, arguments, disagreements. So it feels like you've just been fighting, <laughs> All your life you had to fight, okay? You've been fighting, you've been going through the drama, you've been going through the emotions. But I'm going to tell you what I'm getting more than anything, okay? I feel like anytime adversity or anything tries to come towards you, your spirit guys are fighting on your behalf and you don't even know it. You don't even see it. Behind the scenes, it's a lot going on. Like, that, you know how they always say, there's always a spiritual war going on. We just don't see it. Well, most of us don't see it. You can feel it, though. I feel like your spirit guys are always fighting on your behalf. And for a lot of you all, you're fighting for change. Because five in numerology talks about change, challenges, journeys, adventures. And so you have a lot of things shifting. You may feel like you have a lot up against you right now because they're all up against each other. You may feel like people, particularly like people in your surroundings are up against you. Again, I, I feel like your path is getting ready to be clear. Like whatever is trying to block you, mm -mm, they can't do it much longer. I'm going to tell you that right now. So let's go ahead and shuffle up. Ain't nothing going to get in your way. Whenever you had a chariot, that's your divine vehicle, okay? Divine vehicle is already set to make it cross the finish line. There's no roadblock. There's no speed bump. There's nothing that can stop that chariot from crossing and going to the destination it's meant to go into. That's it. That's all. And that's real. That's major arcana, so that's definite. Cancerian energy here. So let's, again, let's see what we get for you guys today for us. Because, again, I, I, I can feel it. I can feel it very strongly. I look forward to it. And I trust, look, you guys watch how many times I shuffle and look at stuff at the bottom. You guys going to cross that finish line. If it felt like things were stopping you, like that five of wands we seen earlier, things, people, places, things was just stopping you from excelling in life, please, that's, that's over with. So I'm going to stop right here because I know it's time for us to get into these messages. Look. Just a nick of time. Now, it's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting because remember I said from 10, 10 to 12, 12, Dion Warwick is a Sagittarius, 12, 12 Sagittarius at that. You got Sagittarius here with the um, temperance card. So they're saying patiently waiting for things to balance out in the line, but you got to show grace with yourself, show grace with situations. Temper yourself. Don't jump into things very quickly because you're tired of things not going the way that you want them to go. Do not jump into things recklessly or you will regret it later for sure okay for some of you all your biggest blessing is going to come in in sage season we got right here water okay and remember i said that 10 10 11 11 you know 12 12 within that time we will be in scorpio season scorpio season is up next so you got water here the back source water so but she's focused on that fire so your biggest for a lot of us the biggest blessings will be coming in in sage season around that 12 12 portal and if you think about 12 you know, December, that's the last month of the year. So some of the biggest blessings are coming in at the tail end of the year. Okay. So let's go ahead and go through the deck. Again, we want the sun and we want the moon. The card that comes before and the card that comes after. Okay, that's the moon. So you have the moon right in front of the moon. You have, wow, you got two kings. I mean, you got a king and a queen here. So things with your money is getting very stable. Mentally, if you have been, look, 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 I want y'all to see this. You see how she's looking in the direction of this nine of swords, sleepless nights, anxieties, worries, and fears, feeling overwhelmed, feeling alone, okay? She was in that bed alone. You see how she's facing her like, well, just, just hold on. Keep up the fight. If a lot of you all have been going through it, like dealing with things alone, you're tired of being single, it does look like you got a, a companion coming in. You're going to meet somebody. You got a king and a queen. Even though that's not a pair, they are royalty, which means they are very compatible, okay? So you guys have a love interest coming in. I'm also getting if there was an ending in a relationship. 
a divorce, a separation. I feel like it it was taking a long time. You were going through the motions, having a very difficult time moving on from it in your head, a lot of devastation, grief, sorrow. Okay. You see how she has her arms across her heart like that? Um, I feel like you're you're coming to a place of peace. You're coming to peace and you're feeling much stronger than you have for a very long time. For some of you all, there could have been an ending in a relationship in September with the nine here, okay? Uh, possibly a Libra season in September. You know, as it started, when Libra season started in September, some of you all could have been separated from this person for nine days, nine weeks, or nine months. You could have been going on nine years in a relationship with this person if there was an ending. But for a lot of you all, I also feel like if you've been single during that time frame also, you can really meet somebody new. And they're going to be very stable. Very stable. Very sharp. You see how she has that sharp sword? Very stable. Very sharp. Very smart. Very intelligent. Very good at communicating. I'm getting that also. Okay. So let's get the sun. <laughs> look. you Look at this. You got the queen of swords. King of pentacles and the king of swords. Somebody's definitely moving on to a new relationship. Ooh, we. Look at all this damn. Okay, let me tell y'all something. Y'all got hella royalty. Queen of swords. King of Pentacles, King of Cups, King of Swords. Y'all got a lot of royalty going on here. Which means, whenever I get royalty, it makes me think about, like, the kings and queens, it makes me think about the ancestors, like, people prior to us. Your ancestors are passing down abundance because when you get royalty, it automatically is attached to abundance, one way or another. So there is abundance. Some of you all are stressed out because it's like, I don't know how to make ends meet. I don't know how to balance this out in life. I feel like I'm doing everything alone. I'm going to say again, you're not doing everything alone. You got spirit guides right here with you. You got her here. Um, also, I don't know if you guys can see it because of the glare, but I always talk about there's a woman. Can you see her face right there? She's there behind the scenes also. Look at her face right here. You guys have people surrounding you. And I, you got hell. One, two, three, four. Four damn ancestors. Surrounding a lot of you all outside of a love-based situation for some people y'all got about four different dang on ancestors surrounding you That's how I say I know that you're gonna start to feel abundance coming in because you have so much positive energy surrounding you You're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it so, if... Masculine figures and a lot of you guys lives will make sure things are shifting in very positive um, Ways for you and assertive the masculine energy is associated with assertiveness These changes are gonna be very quick and long lasting because you started off with all the kings your only king you're missing here is the king of wands you got the king of pentacles king of swords king of cups the only one you miss is king of wands but the one that fell out you know was here surrounding the moon is the king of pentacles these are going to be long lasting because anything with pentacles is root whatever changes are happening in your life is going to be long lasting it's going to surround your home life your financial your physical because pentacles is also about the physical body as well Someone may be fearful because they were told that they have to have surgery. I'm just looking at all these swords here. So that may be a concern for someone as well. So again, we want the sun. card comes before, the card comes after. There you go. So you have the sun right in front of it. You have none other than the justice card, Libra. We're in Libra season right now, y'all. Y'all don't even see it coming. She's blindfolded. Things are getting ready to be balanced for you. Yin and yang right at the bottom here. And then the sun behind that. Whenever the sun comes up, a brand new day starts. So there's there's positivity coming in. There's change coming in. Shifts coming in with, with your yin and yang, light and dark, masculine and feminine. There's balance all around you. Scales, balance. Those scales are balanced. And you don't even see it coming. Okay? Again, we are Libra season. Remember I was saying with those nine of swords here? And swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. September. Okay? Um, Libra season began in September. You got Libra twice here, technically. So for a lot of you all, you've already, you, if you don't see it, you can already feel it. You can already feel and sense that things are getting ready to come in. You guys are definitely surrounded by our ancestors. These birds, birds are messengers. They're guardians also. You guys have, um, you're just surrounded by a lot of positive energy, I'm telling you. Here's your energy with the sun also. And then behind that, you have the four of cups. Remember I was talking earlier about people having PTSD because it's like I constantly keep going through hardship and difficulty. So when something gets offered, I don't even know if I should accept it because is it real? Is it really going to happen? Okay. That hand is not coming from a physical person. It's coming from the universe. And it's going to make you very happy. Look at this. <laughs> Look. Can you make this up, y'all? For a lot of y'all, you have new love coming in. 
and it's going to be very stable. This is going to be, and that's what I meant to say also, whatever, is, especially when you guys are dating people, like people who are coming in as far as love, during this 10, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12 portal, these are going to be lifelong companions. These are, if you meet people during this time, these are going to be lifelong companions. If you get engaged to someone that you're dealing with right now, lifelong companions. That's that's happening there. That's happening. I'm telling you right now. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, I like that. This is stability. And this is also accepting, being grateful and accepting what, it, what is being extended to you. Because, you know, I know this is a cup. But this just makes me feel like whatever's being offered is being accepted. Okay? So let's see. Let's get clarifiers. We're going to start off with the moon. Let's get clarifiers for the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles for the moon. Okay? Bottom of the deck, you have major arcana, the hermit, Virgo energy. Seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, seeking clarity. You got a star in there. Stars associated with healing. Also, find your way. Wishes coming true. It's like someone's saying, like, I want my wishes to come true. I want to find my way. But then his head is down. His eyes are closed. So, again, that, that gives me this energy. Feeling doubtful. Claiming that you want it, but being doubtful. I always say this all the time. Anytime you want to manifest, the most powerful ingredient to manifestation is intention. If you say you want it, you have to hold your hand out like I want it. You see how this hand is being extended and he ain't even reaching out to accept it? You, got, you can't say you want it and if you're not accepting it. Visualize yourself already receiving it. Claim that already. It's already yours. It's yours. You yeah, ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Let's part the deck. The devil, see? And he's looking towards the devil. What I tell y'all? You got to release yourself from them shackles. Them shackles on them damn people. Release yourself from that negative thought process. Re release all these negative attachments that are associated with you. I'm also going to say you are finding your way away from this negative energy. And you're realizing. For a lot of y'all, you see how he kind of looks like he's he feels defeated or he's ashamed of himself. For a lot of y'all, you may feel ashamed of yourself for allowing certain things to go on in your life for so long. But here's the thing. You were meant to go through that so you can learn those lessons. Now, if you realize it, because he's facing the devil, which means he realizes it's, it's not his back facing like he doesn't know it's there. If you realize that you have been in a toxic relationship for too long, or you have been a toxic person for too long, or you just were not living to your highest potential and you still keep moving in that energy, then that's on you. There ain't nobody else but you. We can't blame nobody else but ourselves. This is our life, right? That's why we have free will. We have it. Which means you can freely move and function as you so choose to. Okay? It's time for you to move on. Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, energy right here with the world card. Travel this is for moving. Major arcana, definite. You guys are moving forward. No more moving backwards. No more moving backwards. That's not for you. And anybody who puts you in a position, I said you got love coming in. Anybody who puts you in a position where you have to question your worth or you are um, feeling stuck, then you got to let that go. You guys are getting ready to manifest all the shifts and changes that you have been looking for. Okay? Gemini Virgo energy again here with the magician. Major Arcana, definite energy. So let's go ahead and get a clarify for this Queen of Swords here. Bottom of the deck, you got a Two of Swords, two, I'm sorry, Two of Cups in reverse, and you got a King and a Queen here. So I'm going to say again, for some of you guys, there was an ending. Because that's a breakup. There was an ending that you all are either dealing with right now or you're currently going through. But I'm going to say again, whoever comes in next, okay, because we stop right here, that's going to be your real pair. It ended because they weren't the pair. Didn't I say earlier, like, they're compatible because they're a king and a queen, so they can be together, but they weren't the same. Like, they didn't have the same core values. So it was meant for this situation to end, and as painful as it is, it was meant for the end so you could be with your actual person, a person who has the same core values as you, same, you know, same light as you. You were meant to be dealing with somebody like that. This person was a karmic for a lot of you all. And for others, this is literally like somebody coming in. This could also be like, okay, you just had some type of ending, you know, and so you're not with someone right now. Because even here on the table, her back is facing him, which means they're not in union. They're not even seen eye to eye. They're not together, right? So it, it, there's two different meanings to that. Let's get a clarify for this. Whoop. For this Queen of Swords. Let's get a clarify for the Queen of Swords. Universal energies of light, love, and divine protection. You need to clarify for the Queen of Swords for the collective. Okay. You had three cards. I'm taking them all. So the first one that flipped and touched the table, I'm taking the second one. Then we'll look at this one after that. Okay. So for the Queen of Swords, you have. <laughs> King of Pentacles, what I say, whoever coming in next, they're going to be, they're, they're going to be grounded, they're going to be stable, I feel like this person is going to be well off, 
Okay, they're gonna be very much going off. For some of you guys, it's definitely going to be a Taurus or someone with a strong Taurus in the chart for sure. Okay, doesn't have to be. I'm just putting it out there. Um, even if not the Taurus, they have Taurus type of personality trait. Like Taurus is associated with tradition. So this person is definitely going to be the type of person that wants marriage. They want long-term commitment. But see, as I put this right here, and guess what? Now she's facing him. And it looks like he's he's facing her direction. Because see, look here. Even if she was facing him, he ain't even facing him. He's he looking up right. So this is someone who has tunnel vision on other things. If you look at it here, his head is kind of adjusted to this direction where she is. He has this offer. And remember, I was talking about that accepting an offer. I feel like for a lot of y'all, you got somebody coming in. They're going to be very stable. Good job. Nice home. Um, they know what they want. It ain't going to be no back and forth BS. This isn't someone with a juvenile sense of, of reality. Also, I'm going to say again, your money. Your money going to be good. A lot of you all with all this king. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? With all this king, queen energy here. You guys have ancestors who are passing down ancestral abundance. Abundance, abundance, abundance. You got ancestral abundance coming in for you. And it's very positive. Um, stability. A lot of you all will be relocating. And also, kings and queens, they are sitting in positions of authority. So, supervisors, team leads, managers, you guys get it. Like people who are in positions of um, where people are under them. And not in a negative way, but this is just someone who's in a position of leadership. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you have stability coming in with your home life. You also are having some type of increase. Because if you notice here, he's holding that staff here, but he's holding the pinnacle here. So this is like, for some reason, this is making me think about a key. So somebody getting the keys to a home or a car, and then somebody accepting some type of promotion or some type of job change. But it's like moving up the ranks. For your king of pentacles... You have the Eight of Wands. I love it. I love it. I love where we're going. Eight of Wands, fast moving communication coming out of blue unexpectedly. Fast shifts coming in. And I feel like this is going to be coming in before this year wraps up. You got eight right here, okay? And then I say for the bulk of us, the blessings that will be coming in nonstop in Sag season. You do got fire. Leo Sag Aries. We are in the universal year eight, 2024. It's an eight year. Before this year ends, these blessings are going to come in very, very quickly. This is also seen as Cupid's arrow, so I'm going to say again, if you're single, you do have a new love interest that's going to come in before this year wraps up. Next card, Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. If you see how he's looking in the direction of the Eight of Wands, it's like, okay, you see the blessings coming at you, but you're still like tensed up because you're in your head because you've been so stressed out before because you've been hurt. You, you got to get out of your head about that because keep in mind, this is the Eight of Wands. This is the Nine of Wands. Behind him is the Eight. Because he's holding one of them, which means that's nine all together. He's, he's not even looking at the eight wands that's coming in because he's so focused. Look at how he's, whatever he's looking at, he's so focused. And he already has his mind made up that things are going to work or not. They won't work out for him. Again, you got to get out of that mind frame, y'all. Get out of that mind frame. Because then it's like you're not even going to acknowledge the blessings coming in. Again, this is the nine of wands. I'm sorry if I say a story. It's nine of wands. And he has one, but then he has eight behind him. But look at how that eight is moving in quite gloriously. At the tip and all around these wands, you got leaves budding, which means there's growth. Whatever's coming towards you will allow things to grow. So why be so weary? Why why be fearful? Because he's fearful. He's anxious. If you really look at him, he's he's not thinking or he's already, this person's already anticipating the worst. And that's the energy that I was talking about here. You get what I'm saying? Let's get a clarifier for the justice card. Bottom of the deck. You have the judgment card reverse. Your judgment is off about this. Being doubtful that something positive is coming in, your judgment is completely and totally off. Okay. Now, as far as this relationship stuff, some of you all with an ex, if this person tries to come back in, I feel like spirit is telling you, like, that's done. Let that, let that sleeping dog lie because we're sending somebody new in for you. I'm gonna tell you all because you do have a king of cups of rights. I'm sorry, king of pentacles. And I said king of cups, no such thing accident. So some of you guys, it can be a water sign, can't spice Scorpio. But for some of you all, you will end up dating somebody new that's the same sign as your, your previous person, your ex person. They're gonna be the same sign. For a lot of y'all, it's definitely a earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy on the Taurus, okay? So let's get a clarifier for the Justice card. Universal Energy. Whew, oh, my God. Why don't I not look at that? Okay, I want to go back to this. You got those spirits coming out of the caskets, which means they have passed on, right? 
It was in reverse. Some of you all are doubting that your spirit ancestors or the people who passed on are here to help you, here surrounding you. Stop doubting. This, this, the four of cups and the nine of wands give me heavy doubt energy. You got to get out of that, okay? Universal energies of light, love, and divine protection. Give me a clarifier, okay? That flipped up quick. For the justice card, you have three of pentacles in reverse. Working, building, establishing something together, you got to reverse. So, again, I feel like for a lot of you all, something just didn't work. So, some of you all may be going to court, okay? You may be going to court for a divorce or, you know, separation of or dividing of assets or just coming to the end of a contract because justice contracts also so because if you notice right here there's there's some paperwork so that could be a contract coming to an end of contract no longer um being together and the sun you know the sun energy because this is associated with the sun now the sun talks about what's coming in it's new now this may not feel good because it's like well you said queen that this is gonna be new stuff but here's the thing if you don't turn your back, look, look at this. If she don't turn her back on this, she ain't going to be able to go towards this. You get what I'm saying? What you thought was for you before, it was just, it, it that was some karmic stuff. And we all have to deal with karmic stuff. That was something karmic. That was a karmic relationship, karmic workplace, karmic this, karmic that. But if, if this isn't released, that contract with that karmic situation, if that's not released, you ain't going to be able to go to the stable. You ain't gonna be able to have the the security that you want, cause that all this pinnacle stuff is security. Bottom of the deck, yeah. If you don't let that go, you're just gonna keep going backwards. The world card reverse. A right travel distance for a moving strong energy. Okay, as far as Taurus, travel distance for a movement of right. If it's in reverse, it's like not going anywhere. Staying stuck, no forward movement, and that's exactly what you want to avoid: lack of movement. Let's get a clarifier for the Four of Cups. Universal energies of light, love, and divine protection. Okay. Now, look what you got. Y'all looking at this, right? It's time for you to move on. You guys are making judgment calls in a positive way that's going to allow you to move forward. And, and you're, I feel like you're going to be listening to your intuition. Your intuition is definitely going to tell you, like, accept the cup, man. Accept the goddamn cup, man. Because the universe gave it to you. Like I said, you see the angel right here? It's going to bring you. you it's just going to make you feel like you're coming back to life. This is like the cup of life, the drink of life. I'm hearing, what's that Sade song, um, The Kiss of Life? I'm hearing that song right now. What is her sign? Is she a, she's a Capricorn, I believe. So some of you guys be dealing with a Capricorn. You do have three of Pentacles here, could be dealing with Capricorn. And even though King of uh, Pentacles is very much associated with Taurus, it's not a major icon, so it can apply to any of the other Earth signs also towards Virgo Capricorn. Um, also Capricorn season will be wrapping up this year. We, we end the year in Capricorn season and we begin next year in Capricorn season because Capricorn season is December, January. So it could be that, um, the decisions, the judgment calls that you make come towards the end of the year and the judgment calls that you make to put an end to certain situations and allow new soul members to come into your life. That's gonna trigger. That's gonna have like a chain reaction, a very positive, a very positive magnitude. I'm gonna say again. I always get with this card. This angel is dispatching these people. So for a lot of you all, I was talking about this before, and I said this in a previous reading. We have spirit guides and guardians that take shifts in our life. I know that sounds weird, but they take shifts. Whatever journey we are going through in our life, we have different like spirit guides and guardians swap out. When people cross over, there's always this belief like you go to heaven and you go to hell. That's not what I've seen. I'm telling you that right now. I haven't seen that. Everybody has their own belief, but I haven't seen that. Spiritually, and it's talking to spirit guides and guardians and all that stuff. Mm -mm, it don't happen like that. It just don't. Um, they also, when we get to the spirit world, we still have work to do on our soul journey. And so you guys are calling in spirit guides or spirit guides are being dispatched. He's dispatching them. He's waking them up because remember, they're deceased now, but they're coming back to life spiritually, okay? They're, they're being called to action. They're being called to duty, okay? When we when we cross soul, we still have work to do on the other side. And in order for our souls to evolve, a lot of the time we have to do a work or um, some type of help to assist the collective. This is a collective of people, right? And so say, for instance, you're going through a journey where now it's time for you to start walking your path as far as what you are supposed to be doing um, your sole purpose. You can be calling a, soul, a spirit guide who did not live out their sole purpose. 
So they could be taking you on and following you and supporting you to help you get towards your soul purpose, soul purpose and that's going to help their soul evolve. You get what I'm saying? I hope that wasn't confusing. I feel like a lot of you guys get that. You're going to call in spirit guides who need to clear up some energy, some karmic energy for themselves. And in order for them to do that is to help others ascend. So a lot of you all, you're getting spirit guides and guardians that are being dispatched to help you along a certain portion or part of your journey right now. And it's going to help them evolve as well. Remember, I was saying this earlier, you've got a lot of spirit guides that are coming in to help you. People who have passed on ancestors, again, they're in castles, but they are being dispatched. They are being awakened so they can come and support and protect and help you and give you a helping hand. They're extending something that is going to be very positive. I'll keep it in profound also, a profound sense of um, safety. A lot of you guys will feel very safe. Somebody's definitely going to have a major shift with their health for the positive. Like somebody could have really felt like they were on their deathbed. But that Red Cross always makes me think about healing. Also, someone is graduating from nursing school, medical school, um, something like that. Somebody is graduating or getting some type of certificate so they can move up the ranks in the medical field. Somebody is getting a promotion in the medical field. And again, someone is definitely, um, their health is better, getting better. Somebody is dropping gems or giving you some information that, that's like spilling the tea on what it is you can do naturally for some of you all. And I'm also getting somebody is focusing on losing weight, the scales. It's making me think about somebody focusing on losing their weight. So you got a lot of stuff here. You got stability with relationships. You also have stability with income, your home life, ending contracts with people that were karmic it's, it's time for that cycle to wrap up you have spirit guides and guardians being dispatched for this new journey that you're getting ready to go on and also you're going to come to reality because i feel like i just look at his face and he looks a little weary to me or untrusting a lot of y'all realize that you're untrusting even to the divine you thought that you trust the divine but you're untrusting even to the divine because you felt like i was left out in the cold for so long I don't want to get my hopes up because that's what I'm hearing here. This is like, I don't want to get my hopes up. I feel like I always have to be defensive. I feel like I always have to fight because you've been fighting for so long. That's why we started off with that five of wands, all that conflict. You've been fighting for so long. Hell, for some of you guys, last five days, five weeks, five months, five years, you've been fighting like hell just to stay afloat. And, and you have spirit guides and guardians who are coming in who are going to ensure that you're going to do well. And also with the song, I say a little prayer. Some of you all are praying over someone who's sick also, or you're needing to pray for people who are sick. Your prayers are going to go a long way. I'm hearing it also. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching Queen Airbender Tarot. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.